ChatGPT just got much better. All those bugs and kinks that get you frustrated when you use it are now taken care of by OpenAI's new model called CriticGPT. This is like a super loop that uses ChatGPT to make ChatGPT better. Seems a bit confusing. Don't worry, you'll understand it all in a minute. What OpenAI has done is use AI to make itself better. They've created a system where AI not only generates content, but also critiques it, ensuring higher accuracy and fewer mistakes. We get to take a look at how CriticGPT is transforming AI reliability. In May 2023, a New York lawyer named Steven Schwartz used ChatGPT to assist with legal research for a personal injury case against an airline. Schwartz cited several legal cases in his court filing, which he believed were real. However, it was later discovered that these cases were entirely fabricated by ChatGPT. The AI had invented six cases that never happened and presented them to this lawyer as real incidents. The lawyer didn't bother reviewing the results because he trusted ChatGPT. It was a big mistake. Now, OpenAI is making sure that this sort of mistake doesn't happen again, and that's what CriticGPT will be making sure of. This model is built on GPT-4 architecture and serves the unique purpose of critiquing the outputs of other AI models, particularly ChatGPT. But its use can be extended to other LLMs. It was created to enhance the process of reinforcement learning from human feedback, which is a method used to improve AI behavior. So you have a loop where the AI-generated content on one side sends the content to another model to examine the results and then sends the output back, but this time ensuring that what you get is as close to human feedback as possible. There are several reasons why this is very important. Imagine using AI to generate content, and you can't even tell that it's written by a machine. Before now, this has been impossible. Most AI-generated content is repetitive, disconnected, and just sounds way too constructed. Then there's the issue of hallucinations when the AI starts making stuff up. While it's true that this technology has made significant strides, it remains far from perfect. One of the primary areas where AI needs improvement is in common sense reasoning. While AI systems excel at processing large amounts of data and identifying patterns, they often fail to understand the context of a situation. For instance, AI chatbots can generate coherent text but may produce contextually inappropriate responses when faced with ambiguous prompts. Another major issue is bias in data. Since AI systems learn from the data that they're trained on, they can inherit biases present in that data. This has led to problematic outcomes in various applications. One notable example of generative AI producing biased responses due to one-sided training data is the case of Microsoft's AI chatbot, Tay. Launched in 2016, Tay was designed to engage with users on Twitter and learn from those interactions to improve its conversational abilities. However, it quickly became evident that Tay's training data and real-time interactions were leading it astray. Within hours of its launch, Tay began generating offensive and inappropriate tweets. This behavior was a direct result of the one-sided, biased, and often harmful interactions it had with certain users who deliberately fed it inflammatory and racist language. Because Tay's learning algorithm did not have effective safeguards against such biases, it rapidly adopted and reproduced these toxic inputs. Most AI models available today would give responses that lean towards certain ideologies because of how they were programmed. The lack of neutrality means these models are impractical for polarized subjects. A further concern is the explainability and transparency of AI models. Many models, especially deep learning ones, function as black boxes with decision-making processes that are not easily interpretable. This opacity can be troubling in critical areas like healthcare, where understanding the rationale behind a diagnosis or treatment recommendation is essential. For instance, an AI might predict a patient's risk of disease, but fail to explain how it arrived at that conclusion. They tend to lack genuine creativity and emotional intelligence beyond what they're prompted to do. While they can generate creative content, such as art or music, AI lacks the emotional depth or originality of human creations. AI struggles to understand and appropriately respond to human emotions, which is crucial for applications like mental health support. According to OpenAI's report on CriticGPT, the model has achieved remarkable success in enhancing AI performance. It's reduced errors by 60%, surpassing traditional human evaluation methods, which only achieve a 30% error reduction. This demonstrates CriticGPT's superior ability to identify and correct mistakes. 
Human evaluators overwhelmingly prefer outputs generated by Critic GPT, with a 63% preference rate compared to traditional methods. This indicates that Critic GPT produces higher quality outputs that better align with human preferences. Critic GPT also excels in reducing hallucinations and false positives that can lead to misleading information. It achieves a 75% reduction in hallucinations, far surpassing traditional methods which only manage a 25% reduction. In addition to its improved accuracy, Critic GPT also enhances evaluation efficiency by 50%, outperforming traditional methods which only achieve a 25% improvement. This means Critic GPT can evaluate AI models more quickly and effectively, making it better than just using human evaluators. But there's a twist to this process. It's increasingly becoming harder for humans to evaluate the results of generative AI. We're reaching the top of the curve before it begins to decline due to the exponential growth of language models to mimic humans. Experts call this boundary detection, and it's important that as AI improves, this boundary is maintained. Humans will struggle to review the most advanced AI results, and boundary detection will become blurred. Again, this is where Critic GPT steps in. It identifies where human-written content ends and AI-generated content begins, ensuring transparency and maintaining trust in AI systems. Imagine teaching a highly skilled chess player new strategies. As their expertise increases, finding ways to enhance their game becomes tougher. Similarly, for human trainers, refining already sophisticated AI models requires increasingly complex and nuanced inputs. One major hurdle is the sheer volume of data required. Early-stage AI models needed relatively simple and limited data to improve. However, as these models become more advanced, they require vast amounts of high-quality, diverse, and accurate data. Gathering and organizing such data is a labor-intensive process that becomes more difficult and less efficient as the models progress. Identifying subtle errors or areas of improvement in these advanced models demands a deep understanding of both the AI's capabilities and the nuances of human language and behavior. To address this limitation, OpenAI developed Critic GPT to act as a sophisticated evaluator and trainer for other AI models. Think of it as a master teacher for AI systems. While human trainers provide valuable guidance, Critic GPT can analyze and critique AI models at a level of detail and complexity that surpasses human capabilities. It can process enormous data sets, identify intricate patterns, and suggest precise adjustments to improve performance. For example, Consider a language model tasked with generating creative writing. A human trainer might suggest improvements based on grammar, style, and coherence. However, Critic GPT can go deeper, analyzing the emotional tone, narrative structure, and even the cultural context of the generated text. This enables it to provide feedback that is far more detailed and nuanced, pushing the language model to achieve a higher level of sophistication. By leveraging Critic GPT, OpenAI aims to break the current limitations of human-led AI training. This approach not only accelerates the development of more advanced AI systems, but also opens up new possibilities for applications in various fields, from creative writing to complex problem solving. To appreciate what Critic GPT does, you have to understand how humans traditionally review and improve AI models. First, you need more data. Think of it like playing a video game. The more you play, the better you get. AI models improve with more data to learn from. Next, you need to choose the important stuff. Just like studying for a test, you focus on the key topics and skip the unnecessary details. In AI, we select the most important features to help the model learn better. Now, you need to build the right model because different problems require different tools, like using a special model for images and another for text. But there's a danger of overlifting. It's like memorizing answers instead of understanding the material. They use techniques like dropout to ensure that model learns the right way. Then there's the need for the fastest route to success. Optimization algorithms help us discover the best way for the model to learn. Sometimes the trainer can use a cheat sheet. Pre-trained models are already trained on lots of data and we can fine tune them for our needs. This is basically how language models get improved with human effort. Now we take it a notch higher with Critic GPT. Let's start with reinforcement learning from human feedback. The journey begins with pre-training a language model using massive data sets. This initial training teaches the model to predict the next word in a sentence, a skill known as next token prediction. 
The goal is to create a base model that understands and generates human-like text. The system gathers human feedback on the outputs generated by the pre-trained model. This feedback can come in various forms, like ratings, rankings, or simply good or bad preferences. The system then trains a reward model to predict the quality of the model's outputs based on this feedback. This reward model assigns a score to each output, guiding our next steps. By combining reinforcement learning with human feedback, we can create AI models that better understand and respond to our needs. But here's the best part. By combining RLHF and FSBS, it's possible to create AI models that not only understand and generate text that aligns with human preferences, but also adapts to real-world user behaviors. This dual approach ensures that the models are both high-performing and user-centric. One of the most significant hurdles is the alignment problem. Where ensuring the model's outputs align with human values and intentions is a constant struggle. To overcome this, OpenAI continually refines the reward model and incorporates diverse feedback to keep the model on track. Critic GPT is hard-coded to work this way more efficiently and consistently than humans. Another challenge is the distributional shift, where the model encounters inputs during deployment that differ from the training data. To tackle this, Critic GPT employs techniques like domain adaptation and regular updates to the training data, ensuring the model stays adaptable and effective. Want to keep up with the latest AI advancements? Subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out our other videos.